Hello guys, welcome back to the town of Selene. Yes indeed, as you may notice, um, things have changed a little bit uh, due to the complete and utter cock-up of the recordings and the sound quality being abysmal on the last two videos I've done. We have ac accelerated in time. This is now year 17. Uh, the good news is that Ernestia is still alive with her two children. Huberti is no longer living with his daughter. His daughter has actually moved over somewhere over here. Where is, uh, where she moved to? She's moved around here somewhere. Stefani, there she is. Stefani has moved over here. There is uh, a pause marker on this building. Uh, I was going to pause the building of it and clicked on the pause button at the exact moment the building completed. So uh, that's a small little wee bug. But uh, yes, uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, what else has happened? We built a market. We built a market to uh, distribute our goods to our worthy townsfolk. As you can see, we've got some stone houses now as well being built. Yes, I'm beginning the slow and long process of upgrading it to stone buildings. Um, a lot of my streets are now paved with stone. I don't have gold, so uh, stone will have to do. Uh, we've got a couple of wells around as well, just in case fire breaks out. Uh, one, two, three... I uh, don't have any of it. Oh, yeah, one over there as well. I should really put one over here somewhere, but at the moment we don't have any available. Right, let's see where we can go from here. So we've got a storage barn over here, eighty nine six percent full. Has the, the ten students, so we don't need any more of those. We've got fifty one people living in our vi in our town, a village. I think we should call it a village. It is a village, definitely. Right, uh, we're going to need some more iron, aren't we? That's coal. That's not nobody working in there. I do need more people working. I'm going to put two miners in. That's going to give me. I uh, should make you work as well because you're producing iron. Uh, so the coal and the iron will allow my blacksmith to make steel tools. Uh, my blacksmith is not at home at the moment, uh, neither is my tailor. My tailor's got 130 coats, so he's uh, really don't, we don't need him at the moment. We do have 70 tools in reserve, so we're fine on that score. Now, what have we got over here? We've got hunting cabin, forester's lodge, and the herbalist over here. And I added a gatherer's hut. Gatherers, uh, I think this has been around for a while. You can see how much four gatherers are bringing in. It's 400... 800, 16, 1700, 1800 food. That's not bad. 1800 food, whereas uh, uh, the fishermen are bringing in 1200 food. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I've cut the fishermen right back, as the fishermen doesn't seem to be as efficient as the gatherers. Huts. Unfortunately, gatherers' huts do require woodland. Yes, indeed, we can gather berries, nuts, berries, and uh, onions, and mushrooms, and. Other wonderful magical things. And uh, yes, apparently there are unicorns in my wood. I have really no idea if there are unicorns in my wood, but uh, there, I like to think that there could be unicorns living in my wood. So uh, that's all that's really changed, guys. Nothing major else has really sort of happened yet. Uh, I'm going to put two more nurse, those are vendors. I'm going to put two more people into my, into my, uh, as miners and build up my coal and, uh, sorry, yeah, my coal and my iron reserves because I am somewhat short of those. Running down my tools a little bit so I can replace, uh, more of the iron tools with steel tools. Steel tools last longer. Now, have I built, I have not built a, oh, I have built, yes, I have built one. Haha. -ha. Yes, indeed, I have built uh, hide coats. We don't want 250 hide coats anymore. What I'm going to do, I'm be cunning. Uh, where is my wood chopper person? There you go, a fuel limit of 1,000. I'm going to put 700 of you. Uh, where's firewood? 700 firewood. 700 firewood, there we go. That should do nicely. I'll need a trader, so I'll put a trader in there. It doesn't leave me the one... That uh, one labour spare. I do have a builder who's technically not being employed, anything, but he'll actually be building the roads. I built to extend the roads a little bit, so I think there's still bits of road that need to be built. Either way, he will be building roads, which is good. But actually, I'm going to take him out because I'm going to put him as a labourer. He can be a labourer, that's fine. I don't mind that. Got a hospital there, don't need it just yet, but uh, it's there just in, for when that moment arises when somebody says, I've got measles. Syphilis, or something else delightful. Oh, a cemetery. We are somewhat short of our cemetery places. We're going to need to bury our dead. 
Now what have we got here? The uh, forest lodge claiming it's full. Uh, right, well we're going to have to build... I'll start with the need to build a, another graveyard now. I'm going to put the graveyard somewhere quiet and out of the way. So I'm going to put it down... Oh, I can get it in here. Can I get it in here? I can get a graveyard in there. Cemetery is too small. What do you mean it's too small? Well, how many people do you think are going to die? Uh, can I put it in here? Yes, I can. There we go. We'll get a cemetery in there. 40 stone. Oh, I have exactly 40 stone in the bank, which is excellent. So we'll start with building that. So here we are, late summer already. Uh, fields. So we've got peppers and corn. Is that all I've got? Peppers and corn. I haven't bought any other another delights yet, but uh, we've got 320 firewood in, there, in the trading post. You really do only need the trader to move the, tra the goods across. Uh, after that, that's, that's pretty much fine. They'll sort themselves out. Food uh, peaking at 1200, so I could actually look at expanding my village, my town, my village, whatever you want to call it, I can make it bigger. I really should be making it bigger, really. Let's see, expand, extend the road out here, and then we'll probably look at building a road down here. Yes, I think I'll take the village down this way because I've just plonked a graveyard down over here and that wasn't a good idea. And here comes a merchant. A merchant who shall buy things. I shall put one of you into being a builder. That way, as soon as that well, is ready to be built. So what have you got, oh, a merchant? Hide coats, logs, mushrooms, potatoes. Um, no. No, don't want any of that. Go away. Uh, the reason I'm putting firewood in there is because firewood is practically free. It's just trees, and trees keep growing, so that's fine. Uh, and so I will have firewood forever. Yes, indeed. That's how we go. The Nesty and Huberti are still going on. Huberti at 72 is feeling the age. He must. He, I don't think he can last much longer. And Nesty, what's Nesty doing as a job at the moment? She's a stone cutter. Nesty's always had the hard jobs. She's been a stone cutter and a. Tr uh, Forester, uh, she never had sort of like a nice job like sewing or something like that. It's always been like hard jobs. And Huberti, well, he's old, he's a gatherer and he's doddering around. Dora's storage could produce goods is nearing capacity. Oh lord. Oh lordy lordy, we need uh, one of these. Yes, we do. So I was having a bane moment. I need more stored goods. Yes. It will be your pain, not mine, that we feel. Right, we've got the farmers are all busy. The farmers can actually go around and pick up stone. But my stored goods... Oh, good lord, oh, that is full, that's full. That's full. We're going to start getting food left by the roadside, and this is not good. Uh, that's not good at all, actually. I really don't want that to happen. Uh, what's my... Yes. So, yes, we need to address that situation as fast as possible. But that's okay, it's late autumn. Late autumn, it's a really cold year, late autumn. So, no stone there, but come along, come along, build stone. Make my house large and wonderful. Nobody has died, that's excellent. Nobody has filled up my graveyard. Uh, do I have any spaces? Oh, I do have some spaces left in that one, but uh, this one will also become starting to be used. I think they use whichever one's closest rather than one which has been started. And so we've got another labourer, that's excellent. I wish some of those labourers would bring uh, stone over to my barn, but uh, it seems that they are not going to be doing so. I'm not if I, if I give them a job, if I give them something stupid like like clear out some sp stuff or no, maybe not. Why have they not? Why have they not? There's nobody bringing stone. I haven't sent them over here. If I were, they'll freeze to death. Nope. So why is nobody bringing stone to my storage barn? Come along. I need stone. Damn it. No stone, no logs, and that hasn't even been removed. So why is... where are all my workers? Where are my workers? And that will just cycle me through everybody. You're late, idling, you're working, you're working. Oh, uh, yes, right, well, never mind. Then come along. Ah, there we go. Just cleared the tree out of the way. So now we'll start laying some stone. We've got six logs down already. We'll get some stone down. We've got 18 stone in the bank. This is good, so we'll get that built quite quickly now. Yes, I know, it's very close to capacity. It's uh, very, very close to capacity. Food is peaking some more at 13,000. I think I'm going to take uh, two fishermen out and put two of them into not laying miners at all. I want them being stone cutters. There we go, we can get more stone cutters because we are very short of stone. Right, we've got... Uh, yes, we've got everything we need there. How about... We've got all the... 
firewood here. How's all the firewood arrived? Yes, all the firewood's arrived, and we've still got another 700 in the bank. Excellent, my woodcutters are working perfectly. Now, I'm hoping that these bastards are not pinching my coal to heat their homes with. That would be uh, unfortunate. I would have to make an example of them and possibly burn their houses down. That would be a... That would be the reasonable thing to do. And Nestle oh, has become a gatherer. She's obviously too old to work as in, the, in the quarries and the stone pits. And the stone pits of Selene, where she slaved for seven days and seven nights. Uh, Garnestian, who is Huberti's other bit on the side. As you can see, Garnestian also has two children. And uh, we believe quite strongly that it was Huberti that managed to do that, though obviously when he was a little bit younger. Uh, and possibly with the uh, assistance of uh, Viagra or some such. So, come along, come along, builders. Do your thing. Uh, Gideon T. the miner has died of old age, and Jin Kales has replaced him as a miner. Excellent. And my fields are ready. It is late winter. It is almost the end of another video. Will we get the storage barn up? I don't think we will, actually. Not with two, only two workers. So, unfortunately, guys, we are not going to be seeing the second storage barn, or sorry, the storage barn completing in this turn, but I will have it up for the next video. Actually, it might complete. It may complete. No, I don't think it will. We've got another laborer up as well. That's good. Of course, my farm is acting as laborers whilst they're not actually doing anything either. Right, I've uh, got iron coming out, we've got coal coming out, and I swear the bastards are pinching it to heat their homes with. Come along, finish. It is early spring. Thank you very much, guys. Catch you on the flip side.